Hi guys, so you're probably going to get a couple of videos today. I'm sorry, I got busy. It's the first of the month. The first 10 days to 11 days of a month. This witch is busy. Um, <coughs> there's a few videos I want to make, a few video responses I want to make that are kind of kind of fun um, and kind of interesting that I've seen go on. And yeah, I'm a few days late, but that's okay. Magical timing means that I can set that clock anytime I want it to be. So welcome to what Today let's talk about Aeson's witchy list. Bucket list. Things Aeson wants to go do as a witch. Think number one. I'm going to see the sun rise across the Comparethian Mountains. Um, knowing my family history and where I'm from and where I believe that we were enslaved at. I'd love to see the sunlight over the mountains at sunrise. And at sunset. Doesn't have to be a particular holiday. Just has to be a safe trip to Romania. Shall we? Um, number two, I'd like to go to Salem. Except I don't want to go do the touristy things. Nor do I want to go when it's touristy. I.e. Samhain. I'd rather go up in like the middle of June when no one else is there. And enjoy the town. And viewing the museums and who knows maybe grabbing a cup of tea with some of the famous witches in salem or for me better a cup of coffee um a lot of people talked about going to stonehenge in their response videos i think it'd be cool to go to stonehenge on yule to see if the sun rises the exact opposite as it does on the summer solstice um i want to go to sedona and spend some time there and get lost in the desert for a little while yeah, I'll notice a lot of these don't sound that glamorous to people. I'd also like to do a road trip and go from upper New York, New Jersey area, all the way down to the south of Florida, and then all the way back up. Um, I think that would be fun. Just stopping, seeing the land, seeing, you know, and not taking the main interstate, taking the older roads that, you know, became... You know, they became the first interstate, you know, the first interstate, but it was actually the wagon interstate. Um, if I was younger, and it used to be when I was younger, I wanted to do the Appalachian Trail. I'm now too old for that. Six months of hiking sounds like torture to me. Three days of hiking sounds amazing. Um, I've seen the Atlantic. I've seen the Pacific. I'd like to see the Gulf Coast. Um, and the... Um, Great Lakes, love to go see that. Haven't done that yet. Um, and then I want to complete like my trip around the United States. Like I haven't been to St. Louis yet. I haven't been to um, San Francisco yet. I know, shocking. Problem is, is I probably will move there um, if I go there because I almost stayed in LA when I went out there. Um, other witchy things I want to do. I want to go and experience the energy of the Bell Witch in Virginia. That's a quick little trip. Um, I want to see what's going on there, because that's kind of interesting, the tale, the history there. Um, and then I want to go to New Orleans. I want to go to New Orleans and get lost, like leave the phone tracker at home and just enjoy the culture there. Um, and see what it feels like, because I hear it's a lot of different feelings there. So I have a lot of bucket list items. A lot of travel bucket list items as far as spells i've done about every spell i ever want to do um been to a lot of great rituals done a lot of great rituals met a lot of people in the witchy community that have gone on or haven't gone on i would like to meet lady maxine saunders uh in person i've done a lot of um viewing of videos and inner meetings i'd love to meet her in person i'd love to see the witch museum um, both the one that is by Ray Buckland and also the one in Iceland and the one in England. Um, and then there's a witchy store and I don't know its name. It's in London. It's one of the oldest witchy stores around. Um, I think it is called, and please correct me if I'm wrong, Atlantic's Books. I'd love to go visit there. Even if it's not open, just visit the building because that is a very big very large um branch of history there that i just would love to enjoy the energy from um atlantic's books used to be like the 
gatekeeper, everything else. One of the stories I remember hearing is, I believe it was Lady Maxine Saunders and Lord Alexander Saunders and a group of people came into Atlantic's books. And the fog was so bad in London that when you opened the doors to go out of it, that the fog started rolling in and it just looked really mystical. And I'd like to experience that. Um, I also would like to go to China. I have this weird thing with China and Chinese culture. Um, and we'll talk about that in a little bit in the video because you'll see Buddha's back behind me and you're probably really confused. Um, I'm got to see how many videos I can get done today. I may be doing a statuary video and talking about statues. But I'd like to go and explore the witchcraft of China because you know it's there. We just don't get it publicized this way. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that, you know, witch life got busy. So wish I had to put some things on one side or the other. Until later, talk to you. Bye. Have a blessed day. And enjoy a good cup of coffee.